Hi there. Now I want to continue extending our work that we've been talking about so far on transformations of the complex plane. By working with the example that we've been using, the mod of z equaling 1, and I'm going to look at transformations of this particular form. w equals a constant times z plus another complex number a plus ib. And to demonstrate this, I've got this example here where we've got the point P represents the complex number Z on an argon diagram where the modulus of Z equals 1 and where Z equals X plus IY. And what we've got to do now is sketch the locus of a point Q under the transformation W equals 2Z plus 3 minus I, where W equals U plus IV. So you can see that this transformation here takes on this particular form. So what is the locus of this point Q going to be in the W plane when we do this transformation here, W equals 2Z plus 3 minus I? Well, let's put down what we've got first of all, and that is the mod of Z we know equals 1. And we've got our transformation here, W equaling 2Z plus 3 minus I. Now in order to do this, what I'm going to do is subtract 3 and add I to both sides. So therefore what we're going to have is W minus 3 plus I equals the 2Z. Now if I take the modulus to both sides and at the same time just rearrange this to be W minus, and if I put this in brackets we'll have 3 there but minus I. Okay, So we've got the modulus now of W minus all of 3 minus I and it must equal the modulus of 2Z. Now when it comes to the modulus of 2Z what we can do is split that to be the modulus of 2 multiplied by the modulus of z. Now the modulus of z we know is 1 and the modulus of 2 is just going to be 2. So 2 times 1 is 2. So what we've got here now is the modulus then of w minus and then in brackets 3 minus i equals 2. Now you should recognize this particular equation. We've looked at it in the past in the locus of complex numbers. This represents a circle of radius 2 with a center coordinates 3 minus 1. So what we've got under this transformation then is a circle of radius 2 with center at 3 minus 1. And this is the locus then of the point Q represented by W equaling U plus IV under this transformation. So what has actually happened? The value K, which in this example is 2, has enlarged our shape by a scale factor of 2 sent to the origin. And then we've got this other complex number added on 3 minus I. So when we've added the complex number 3 minus i, what has actually happened is it's then translated the enlarged circle, in this case, 3 units to the right, 1 unit down. So what we've got then is an enlargement of z by a scale factor of 2 center the origin, followed by a translation by the vector 3 minus 1. So in general, this particular transformation, what does it do? Well, W equals KZ plus A plus IB represents an enlargement scale factor K sent to the origin, followed by a translation vector AB, where K is a positive value. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea then how this particular transformation works.